Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com bringing you another fly time video. Um, today is a video that I'm doing because of another order that I had and um, this was one of the ones that I was requested to tie and when I saw it I figured I'm going to have to try this for myself. I did and it really worked. Um, this is a George Daniels pattern. It's called a sunken spinner. Uh, I'm going to tie it in a different color than he does. He ties it in a rusty brown which is of course a rusty spinner color and that works great. Uh, I have caught fish on that, not going to lie, it works great. I'm tying it in an olive because that works too. And another pattern, when I actually started tying it, it was during the sulfur hatch. And I tied this in watery olive and um, caught a lot of fish on it during the sulfur hatch. Uh, did real well, really like it. And um, it's kind of like a Pertagon with wings in essence is what it is. And it really worked for me. Uh, George, I believe when he ties it, he ties it on a regular nymph hook, like uh, Firehole 609, 633 kind of nymph hook. I tie it on a jig hook just because I tie everything on a jig hook if I can. So um, tie it on whichever one you prefer. If you, you know, if you're a slotted bead guy with a jig hook like I am, go that route. If not, use a nymph hook with a regular bead. So, anyways. Try a different, couple different colors like I have. Uh, rusty browns will definitely work because it's a sunken spinner, which most flies, when they may flies, when they um, turn into a spinner, they actually turn to a brown color. So that works great. Definitely go that route. But also use it as a, um, you know, a mayfly that just hatched and just got washed under the water or something so it doesn't have to be the spinner it could be a done too so anyways guys really simple fly easy to tie here it is in the vise and then the material the list to tie it Okay, here you see the sunken spinner in the vise. Uh, very cool, very easy fly to tie. Let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm using Holsinger's Fly Shop. This is a size 16, tied in like 16s and 18s. For a bead on this size 16, I'm using a 2.8 millimeter slotted tungsten bead. This is gold. And for thread, Today I'm using olive, um, rusty brown is what he calls for on George Daniels pattern. Um, I've tied it in a couple colors, olive works, uh, watery olive works for sulfurs, and of course rusty brown for rusty spinners. Next thing I'm going to add is 140 denier white thread, and this is going to be the ribbing on the fly. So I'm going to put it on a bobbin and just wrap it back here to the bend of the hook and we're just going to let it hang off the side here now we're going to come in with my tail for my tail I'm using some cocktail on uh, about eight or so fibers and we're just going to make them about the length of the, the hook shank there so put that on there Make sure we got the length we want. Take it right back to the bend and wrap it back forward. Now I'm making nice even wraps here, trying to make a nice smooth body. And going right up here behind the bead, building it up just a little bit to lock that in place. Now if you want, you can take and give your uh, white thread a little spin, like I did there. And that'll help tighten it up so you can get a nice smoother wrap here and then I'm just going to make a nice segmented wrap and then right up behind the bead I'm going to wrap it off alright trim your rib off there last thing we're going to do is we're going to put the wings on for the wings I'm using some white EP fibers uh, trigger point fibers and I'm just going to lay it on top and as you see here, I'm going to go a little bit long. You see, I'm actually going a lot long. It's just easier to work with. And we're just going to figure 
eight it or X it over the the bead here. So I'm just going to go a couple wraps each way. Just make sure I get this on top and uh, just make a couple of nice wraps so you get it locked into place like that. Then what I like to do is come in front, do my whip finish here. Uh, sorry about that. I left my put my whip finish off to the side and uh, get these EP fibers back out of the way. Make a nice little whip finish. And then I like to come in and just hit just a little dab right on top of them wings and that'll lock it all in place with my UV glue. Now last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim my wings. To trim my wings what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the wing back I'm going to bring my scissors right into the back of the body and trim it off and that's how long that way I get both both of them the same length when I pull it back like that I cut them off the same length and it's a good length too so the length of your body there is what you want for that so you see how easy that fly is very simple to tie and uh, it has been catching fish for me okay guys hope you like that pattern easy pattern to tie um, takes a little bit of getting on to the figure eighting that wing once you do it a couple times you'll fly through them and put a couple of these in your box because they do work I promise you they do work so hope you enjoyed it guys if you need any materials like always head over to our shop at wholesingersflyshop.com or um, you can message me at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com if you'd like me to tie any of these for you so Thanks for watching guys, until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.